The late 80s were a wonderful time to be alive if you were a fan of hard rock music. Big hair bands were all over the charts way back then. You gotta remember, this was pre-grunge music. The world was still full of hope and optimism. And you know what? It was okay to like bands like Vixen, Europe, Bad English, and heaven forbid, Nelson. Speaking of Vixen, I really loved their song, Edge of a Broken Heart. That was the first single off of their debut album. As many of you who subscribe to my channel know, I'm a huge Tubes Fee Weibel fan. And this song was co-written by Weibel along with his longtime songwriting partner, Richard Marks. Channeling other great female rockers like Pat Benatar, Joan Jett, and Lita Ford, the band's debut album was the perfect CD or even cassette way back then, to throw into your car stereo and just hit the open road. The band followed up their debut album with Rev It Up in 1990, and while not as successful as their first album, it still had some great songs on it, including one of my favorites, How Much Love. The album was definitely missing the Richard Marx influence, though. It had been so predominant on the first album where Marx had not only had a hand in songwriting, but it also played keyboards as well. Still, it was a great sophomore release, and the band was touring with hard rock legends like Deep Purple and Kiss. And then, without fair warning, the dark cloud of grunge swept over the music world, and the light from so many bands was doused, at least temporarily. I say temporarily because, at least in Vixen's case, the band has attempted reformations numerous times. First without founding member and really the heart and soul of the band, Jan Kuhneman. Eventually Jan returned, first in 2001 for a major concert tour and then again in 2004 for a VH1 documentary called Bands Reunited. Unfortunately, neither of those reunions were with all of the members from the classic lineup and then in 2012 just when it looked like all of the original members of the band would reunite, Jan was diagnosed with cancer, and within a year, she was gone. The surviving members of the band have since reunited. Their webpage has a touching tribute to Jan, and while their hair is a little less big, and yes, they do look a little older, it's great to see these ladies rocking the stage again with their upbeat brand of metal. I'm sorry, but if anyone tells me that the 70s and 80s weren't the greatest time for hard rock music and their fans, I'll simply tell them that they weren't there. Well, if they were there, they simply weren't listening to the right type of music. If you haven't heard Vixen before, start with the first two albums. There are two more out there that were recorded in 1997 and 2006, but they're more for the hardcore fan, because although they have the Vixen name attached to them, they were recorded with only fragments of the original classic lineup. Just absolutely great music. Rest in peace, Jan. You are missed. You guys know the drill. I truly love to read your comments and learn more from each one of you. If you've got something to share, please do so in the section below. And as always, I'd love a thumbs up and I'd be honored if you'd consider subscribing to my channel. But most importantly, as always, thank you so much for watching.